good everyone um so i just i just bought my new car and i'm very excited i'm very very happy and it's just a surreal moment for me because um when i was younger i didn't really have much you know what i'm saying i grew up in poverty for the most part and the fact that i'm able to you know just obtain something like this is just a testament of god's you know blessing and just his his way and time over my life and i'm just very very thankful and grateful for everything but yeah i'm about to go to the dealership and pick up the car right now um i signed everything uh yesterday and yeah i'm i'm ecstatic because this is one of my like dream cars and i know it's nothing crazy and this car is pretty slept on people probably don't even know what car this is but i don't really care you know i'm gonna do me i love this car and yeah, I'm about, to, I'm about to show y'all what car I'm getting, and yeah. This car is going crazy, bruh. Uh, Sean and Hyundai just cop the V. This V is going stupid. Oh my gosh. Talk to me nice, bruh. Talk to me nice. Jeez, bruh. This car is going crazy, bro. The bucket seats. Oh man. Oh man. Yo, what's going on everyone? So, it's been about like almost two months since I've had the car now. And I've been really, really enjoying and loving this car. And the fact that I'm even able to have this car as my first car, well, a car that I, I purchased with my own money is just insane to me. And it's just like living testament of how great God is. We bought a, we bought a ride out. I'm about to show I'm about to show y'all you know some of the V. I'm about to show you the whip. Um just give y'all some B-roll and just show y'all some man, this car is just crazy. Um I'm just always so like cheesed every time I'm talking about this car because literally this is my first whip that I purchased, like I said again. And like I don't know, I don't know, it's just it's just perfect, it's perfect timing. You already know what it is, but yeah. I'm about to go to the whip right now, but just doing a little fit check, you feel me? Um Nothing crazy, sound slight, but got some nice vintage uh, Christian tea. And got the uh, Fear of God essential shorts. And then uh, got the, uh, can't see it on the mirror really, but got my uh, Yeezy slides and got some Hanes socks. That's what I'm rocking with, you know, something calm. I feel like if you live in a state where it's always hot or, you know, it's just like, if you live in a state where it's hot, you you, you know what's up. You, you gotta pull up in slides, you gotta pull up in Crocs, you gotta pull up in something comfy. You gotta pull up in something breathable, you feel me? So that's just that's just what, what I've been rocking with as of recent. All right, y'all, so this is my new car. This is a 2022 Hyundai Elantra N, and I've had it for about two months now, and I just have no words for it. This car is beautiful, elegant, fast, sleek, like just so many different words to describe this car. Look at the exterior real quick. So we got the running daylights. We got the front, front lip, that red goes crazy. Then you got that little N logo. Yeah, so I'll give y'all a little car tour real quick. So here's the side of the cars. Comes with 19s and Michelin Pilot Sport S's. 
really, really nice wheels and tires for this car. Then we got the back of the car. It has that nice little wing to distinguish, you know, whether it's an Elantra or an Elantra N. And again, you have the N logo right here. This car is literally insane for the price point. For what it is, it's a turbocharged four-cylinder, four-cylinder banger, you know what I'm saying? Has 276 horsepower, but there is a feature called N mode. So it gives you another boost of 10 horsepower for about 20 seconds. So total, you could get up to 286 horsepower within this car. Has 289 pound of uh, per feet of torque. So this car, I'm telling you, this car is crazy. And it's pretty light too, I would say, you know, relatively to other sports car. I think it's about like 3,000 pounds or something like that. Give you a little peek on the inside. Sorry if it's a little dirty, but I just, I'm saying look at the steering wheel so clean then we got the paddle shifters right there you got four different modes in this car you got eco you got normal you got sport then you got end mode and then you could also customize your uh, your preferences so like so you could go on this little setting here on end mode and it'll tell you you know all different um, features of your car so it has the throttle percentage, it has the oil temperature, it has, um, you could also set up a lap timer so you could test out your quarter mile speed, you could test out how fast you could go from zero to 60, stuff like that. And then if you slide over to the right, you have all these different settings to customize. So you have, if you want to make your engine a little bit more sporty or normal, then you have your steering, suspension, all, all these different types of stuff. And then you could also see that you could check your G-force and stuff. And obviously you could, activate or deactivate launch control too so really i'm telling you this car is really worth the money if you could if if you ever get a chance you know i'd say to probably take a look at it or do more research if you're look if you're in the market for a new car around this price point it might be a little bit hard to, harder to get right now but the 24 model is coming out pretty soon so i suggest you go for that because this car is pretty slept on. Not, not a lot of people know about this car. So if you ever do get a chance to get it, I would say get it. Then we got this bucket seats, sport bucket seats. It has um, suede right here and then leather right here. Then at night, this end logo also lights up. It's not nighttime yet, so it's not lighting up. But yeah, it shines, uh, I think like light blue when, when it's uh, at night. And then we got the sunroof right here which is also nice, a nice feature. And then if we go to the back, it has pretty comfortable seating. You could fit, I'd probably say two com uh, passengers comfortably and then a third passenger if they're relatively smaller. So pretty, pretty, pretty good engine space, pretty good uh, size. Alright y'all, so kind of just it's kind of like a cleanup slash maintenance day right now. Do an interior detail of the car and just keep some of the things, you know, just as new, as clean as possible. I feel like I feel like with a brand new car you just want to keep it as fresh as possible and that's just my you know, just, that's just who I am. I just like to keep things as clean as you know, as clean as it could be. Alright y'all, don't mind the mess right now in my trunk, but just using some of these tools just to keep you know things clean um i feel like you could go to walmart go to amazon do whatever but wherever you get your tools just make sure that it's necessary for for your car so i got like this total interior cleaner very very handy got this wheel cleaner from chemical guys got this kind of clay to just detail some of the things in your interior 
uh, get get rid of some dirt, some dust, whatever it is, stuff like this. Cool glass cleaner, and also I'm gonna um, I'm going to ceramic coat my seats. So I'm gonna use this Gion Leather Shield protector, ceramic coating protector, and yeah. So got some detailing brushes, got some uh, microfiber towels. You know, just just all, have all the necess necessities. You feel me? But yeah, that's what I'm rocking with right now. So I just finished cera uh, ceramic coating my car. So like I said, I was using this uh, Gion uh, leather shield protection. And um, what, you're, what you're gonna wanna do is they're gonna give you this kind of like uh, rubbery foam block. And then they're gonna give you also some um, like microfiber towels. You just wanna put it on top of the, uh, of the block like that. And then just put like 15 to 20 drops and then just apply it on all like leather uh, vegan leather or I guess suede too. Uh, that's pretty much what I did for my car. Just put 15 to 20 drops on the cloth and then just start um, liber like liberally wiping your the surface and make sure that you're um, doing it in even strokes and that you're applying the, um, the product evenly that you don't want to leave like uh, heavy spots on one part and then like light spots on the other. So just take your time and just do it you know as thoroughly and as evenly as possible. And then uh, I only did one coat because I, I feel like it's good enough. I keep my car uh, clean as it is, so I don't, I don't I don't need like a, a very thick coat. I think one coat is pretty much going to be fine for like six six months to a year from from uh, more more or less. But um, I did I did my my uh, driver's seat, passenger seats, the doors, and then basically all of the interior panels. And it took me about like I would say. 30 to 45 minutes just doing it as evenly and as thoroughly as possible so i'd highly recommend uh if y'all have a car that you want a ceramic coat use this product because it's really really good um it's the solution itself is pretty forgiving so if you spill it just make sure that you wipe it with a microfiber towel and then that you're pretty much set and also after you finish scrubbing and applying the solution to the um to whatever you're applying it on the seats or the interior just use a microfiber towel to wipe off the excess because you definitely don't want to have an excess of this. But yeah, that's pretty much it. And then I'm gonna show y'all how the car looks. Yo, what's going on, y'all? We're gonna title this uh, this section of the video called Park Car Conversations because I am in my car and it is parked. But um, I just wanted to title it that because I've had some of my best conversations, some of my best moments, you know, just being able to, you know, talk my heart out with, you know, with, you know, someone on the passenger seat or someone in the back seat, whatever it is, you know, just being able to talk to like your friends, you know, a group of friends, just being in this setting. I feel like it's real private, it's real genuine it's you know it's just real casual and you just really get to talk about anything so i just want to give you know this this uh video that type of vibe just me talk to a friend and stuff like that some of my thoughts about me obtaining my dream car and stuff like that um the whole process of me obtaining my dream car was kind of crazy but kind of not because um i was moving to a different city and if you know anything about moving to a different city you have so many different responsibilities and you have so many things to cater to and 
getting a car is definitely a priority if you live in a state where driving is essential like you need to drive and i was driving in the city that i was moving to like i had to drive so regardless i had to get a car anyways but um the car that you know my dream car that i wanted to get the hyundai elantra n um it's a i would say it's a really like a rare car or like it's on the rarer side because there's not that many in production and there's not that many manufactured and it is pretty high in demand you know or like people who who know about the cars so that's why it's generally high in demand but yeah so high in demand and low in quantity does it, it does it's not a good mix i had been researching and you know just being my just doing my due diligence for like the past few months before i was actually moving to the city that i was moving into and um i was just running out of luck because um i feel like it's hard to be able to establish you getting a car with you know with the dealership because like if you're doing it months in advance they're generally not going to entertain it because they're gonna they could just find somebody somebody else that would, that'll just buy it you know at a at a sooner date so i felt like i was kind of out of luck but fast forward to like a couple of days before i was actually moving into the new city that i was moving into i had called i had literally called like every dealer in the city but i had found one dealer that actually had like my dream car that i wanted and you know sure enough I had came the same day that I was moving, you know, to the new city, just went straight to the dealership, test drove it, and it, just, it was just as simple as that. It was just like, there wasn't really any obstacles in my way, you know, besides the, pri you know, prior to the fact of that. But yeah, I feel like the whole process was just pretty straightforward. And I feel like, I feel like I got really lucky. Oh, well, I wouldn't say it's luck, because I feel like everything is, a, is in God's timing and everything is in God's hand. And if he truly wants you to have it at that certain time, he'll give it to you. And I've noticed that in my life, like there are different seasons for different things. And a lot of the things that you, you know, you dream or you desire of, sometimes it takes time. It's kind of like the same concept where you're, you're like, um, you know, where you're watering that, that seed and you're trying to grow some crops and stuff like that. Like it's not gonna take a day for, for the crop to harvest. It's not gonna take a day for the crop to grow and for you to be able to, you know, bear bear fruits or bear vegetables like it's gonna take it's gonna it has its seasons it, you know there's seasons where you have to water your plants there's seasons where you have to you know water your crops you have to let the sun go through so it's kind of like the same thing in life where there are different seasons for different things and sometimes your dreams may take a little while for you to get to or god just has different plans for you or, or whatever it may be but just know that it's gonna take some time and that it's okay to take some time because there's gonna be a lot of things that God is gonna show you within that time. And once you finally get it, you're gonna be able to appreciate it for what it truly is. And that's literally a blessing from God. And that's how I feel about getting this car. I also just wanna say that like uh, me getting my dream car has just been so eye-opening and it's just changed my perspective in a lot of different ways because like my car isn't the most expensive car in the world. It's not the most like wanted car in the world. Like basically like nobody knows about this car if you don't, if you know, if they're not familiar with like Hyundai's or you know, like just you know, like Korean Korean cars or you know this specific model, so I feel like I feel like it's the same concept where it's just like yo, don't don't feel like don't feel like you have to go with the world and you have to like what other people like and you just have to you know go with the trend, just like whatever you like. Don't don't go by others' opinions of what you what you dream and you desire of like don't let that other person tell you what you should do what you should buy what you should get literally it's like your own hard-earned money it's your hard-earned work that goes into it it's literally like your 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 interest like don't let anybody change your own opinions like just stay 10 toes down i feel like me titling this my dream car you you would be expecting like a you know like a six-figure car like a lamborghini whatever it is but i feel like this really truly is my dream car because it's something that I've been wanting for a while. It's something that, you know, f fits my needs and it's something that I find really, really, really like just gorgeous and beautiful. And it's just everything that, I, that I've ever wanted, you know? And like I said, again, it's not the most expensive car in the world. It's not the fastest car in the world, but I don't really care about any of that type of stuff because it's literally based off of my own opinion. Like, yeah, I do like Lamborghinis. I do like Mercedes Benz. I do like whatever, you know, what other brands there are. But it's it's the same principles just apply to everything else. It's just like you don't got to follow the world. You don't have to, 
you don't have to tend to other things that people say that are cool. Like, if you find something cool, just rock with it. There's going to be other people who also find that other thing cool. It's just like, if you just, just stay, just stay true to yourself. It's just like, there's going to be other people who feel the same way that you do. And yeah, I feel like I've, I've really noticed that, you know, just me getting this car because not a lot of people know it and that's how I like it. I, I don't want people to know about this car. Like, it's a, it's an underrated sleeper car. Like, I, I love that. Like, it's, it's like a point of conversation. It's just like, because like, people will come up to me and think it's like a regular, like, you know, a regular, regular degular like Hyundai, but, you know, underneath the hood and stuff is, is different, my boy. Like, it's not the same. It's not the same. So I kind of like it like that. And also people who like, know about the car, you know, we'll, we'll have those conversations too, because like, not a lot of people have this car. So it, it it, it opens up the conversation more. So I feel like, I don't know, I feel like that's just cool. I also just wanted to say that like, the things that you dream and you desire of, just give it up to God, surrender it to God. Just tell him about all the things that you want in this life. Tell him about all the things that you dream and desire of, you know, all the things that you, that you wanted ever since you were a child or that you want now. Just tell him, because he, he already knows. He already knows your heart's desires. He just wants you to have an open line, uh, lines of communication with him. He wants you to talk to him because I feel like what I've truly learned, you know, ever since I've got gotten the thing that I really wanted is that this is just a material, like this is just materialistic. And that at the end of the day, if you keep chasing that like materialistic item, if you keep chasing that like intrinsic thing, you're never going to find true satisfaction. You're never going to find true peace. And there's only going to be true peace if you truly commit and surrender your life to Jesus because he's going to give you the things that you dream and you desire of. And behind that, there's going to be like godly intentions behind it. So it's not worldly intentions. So your whole perspective is gonna change about everything. So even even though I have like my dream car and like my thought process was so different before, cause I, literally before, like how I used to think was that like, I had to work like really, really hard to get what I want. Like it's based off of my own strength, my own power. And like, you know, like, I have to do X, Y, and Z to be able to accomplish X, Y, and Z. But what I truly notice is that like, God is really in the details. Like God will give it to you. Like God will, like he, he literally wants you to have everything in this world that you, you, that you, that you dream and you desire of. Like, why would he not want to see you happy? Like, why would he not want you to have that house? Why would he not want you to have that job? Like, like, come on, like there's nothing, there's nothing in this world that's too big for, for Jesus. There's nothing in this world that's too big for God. He's always going to be able to open doors. He's always going to be able to open ways. Just surrender your life to him. Just talk to him. Pray to him. Just tell him. Just just speak to him. Like It's like you're speaking to a friend. There's just so many other important things in this life that are that you'll find more fulfillment in. You'll find more satisfaction. And I promise you that like... You know what like even if you do have that like dream car that dream house that dream job like yeah like you should be you should be really proud of yourself you should be happy but just know that your true satisfaction in this world should only come from jesus and jesus himself and that's that's literally my message that i just wanted to you know to to say but yeah uh i really enjoyed this part of the video and i feel like i want to have more I want to have more segments like this in, in, you know, in my, in my next videos and stuff, because I feel like this is just so like cool to be able to talk to y'all. And I feel like it's just, I get to open up my, myself and y'all get to see me a little bit more, you know, in my, in my true nature, in my true form and stuff. So I feel like, I feel like I, I really enjoy it. Cause it's really like, it's really just me like talking to, to a friend. It's just like, I don't know. I get to, I get to spell out my heart a little bit. Also, just giving y'all a little POV, what it's like to be in the whip. And look at this little spot that I found. It's nice out here, man. I feel like, I feel like it's so peaceful just being able to drive to certain spots and just being able to find stuff like this, where it's just like really nobody here and you're just being able to take in nature and stuff like that. I feel like that's amazing, bro. But yeah, this is the POV, you feel me? Man, this view is so beautiful. It's crazy, bro. It is that crazy.
over here. I'm about to show y'all some POV real quick. You know what I'm saying? Um, so I'm gonna put it in normal real quick, just to let y'all know. Like, I'm gonna open up the windows a little bit. So this is normal. Like, you can't really hear the exhaust and stuff, but. When I put it on end mode, you start to hear the hums and the burbles and stuff like that. So I'm about to wild out. Can't, I don't know if you can really hear it on camera, but I'm telling you, in person, this car goes crazy. I'm telling you. So much open space, just like, just like how beautiful it is, like. Just get to be in the, you know, just in the presence of nature, just be in the presence of God, just like, just look at how much open space there is. Look, this is, this is how life should be lived, man. Like, for real. You know what I'm saying? Driving in the Elantra and all that open space. See if I can give it some pull, you feel me? I'm about to show y'all the, the power of this car a little bit. Um... I wanna, I wanna, I wanna upshift and downshift, but I can't because I'm holding the camera. But yeah, we better see. I don't know if I can really hear that, but you know what I'm saying. I'm gonna let it rock. I'm gonna let it rock. 60, 60, 60 ball. Sneak peek of what it looks like at night. Got the ambient lighting and stuff. Oh, yeah.